Hi everyone, Alex here. In the last series of videos, the last four videos we've seen, we have been signing in to AnyPoint platform using username and password. And that's cool and all because we've been using free accounts or I have been using free accounts so far. But if you are using an enterprise account, it is most likely that you will have multi-factor authentication or MFA enabled in your organization which means that you have to sign in using an SMS or another application so you can sign in from your phone, get a code, stuff like that. So there is a different process altogether to do the authorization with CICD pipelines using multi-factor authentication, which is using a connected app instead of your AnyPoint platform username and password. In today's video, we will learn exactly how to do that. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to sign in to AnyPoint platform, go to the menu here and go to access management. Once you are in access management, please go to connected apps right here and select create app. You can name this whatever you want. In this case, we're gonna name it GitHub Actions. Just like that, now select App Acts on its own behalf. Client Credentials. After that, click on Add Scopes, and we will add the following scopes. The first is going to be Design Center Developer. Then we're gonna select View Environment, View Organization, Profile, Cloud Hub Organization Admin, Create Applications, delete applications, download applications, read applications, and finally read servers. After you select all of those scopes, click on next right here, select your business groups. In my case, it's only one, select next, and we will be using the sandbox environment for this demo. Next, click on add scopes. And after we do all that, we just have to review that everything looks good and click on save. Now here you will be able to copy the ID and the secret that we are going to use in the next step to add to GitHub. Now, if you go to your GitHub repository, click on settings, then scroll down and select secrets and variables actions. And this will get you where we have already selected all of our previous repository secrets. In this case, we are going to create two more for the ID and secret that we just saw. Simply go here and click on new repository secret. And the first one is going to be connected app client ID. So now if we go back to any point platform, we can select copy ID. We will go back to our GitHub repo and paste here the secret. Now just click on add secret. And now repeat the process for the second secret, which is going to be connected app client secret. Now we go back to any point platform, copy secret, go back to GitHub repo and paste this. Select add secret. Now that we have that set up, we can go into our actual repo to modify the code. The first thing we're going to do is to modify our pom.xml file. You can scroll down until you find the Cloud Hub deployment. And in here, you can notice that we have username and password. We are going to replace those two with our connected app credentials. And these are the three properties that we are going to add now. Connected app client ID, connected app client secret, and connected app grant type. The grant type is going to be client credentials, and the ID and the secret are going to be parameters that we are going to send from our build.yaml. So that's all for the POM XML. Now, if we go to our build.jaml file that we have under GitHub workflows, we now have to go into our deploy job that we have. So we have the test, build, and deploy. If we scroll down, we will be able to find here that we have username and password in our environment variables. And we are connecting to any point platform username and any point platform password. These are the secrets that we have in our GitHub settings. So let's replace that with ID and secret like this. Now we have the ID environment variable, which is connecting to the connected app client ID secret that we just created and the secret variable connected to connected app client secret secret that we just created in our GitHub settings. And the second thing we need to change is right in the Maven command that we are sending, we have to modify this anypoint.username and anypoint.password 
with the two variables that we just created, like this. So now this is going to be client.id connected to the ID variable and client.secret connected to the secret variable. These are the two properties that we are going to receive here in PubMXML. Now we just have to push all of these changes into our GitHub repo to see the pipeline running. So now if we come to a repo and click on the actions tab, we will be able to see that the workflow is now running. You can click on it to see the details of what's happening right now. It's running all of the MUnit tests that we had previously set up. And once that's done, it's going to continue to the build and the deploy steps. Once it reaches the deploy job, we can see that this is already deploying in Runtime Manager. And as soon as this is done, we will have a successful pipeline. Once the application appears as started, we can go back to the pipeline and we will see everything was successful. And that's it. That is how you configure a connected application from any point platform into your CICD pipelines when you are using an enterprise account or just using multi-factor authentication in your account. I hope this series has been useful for you. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to create any more content about CICD pipelines or any other type of MuleSoft content. All right, that is all. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you never miss the new videos that we create. And also subscribe to prosdev.com so you receive notifications as soon as new articles are created. Bye-bye.